Well, I was, I don't have an answer for this, but there's, there's healthy belief systems and then there's mm -hmm. unhealthy belief systems and then there's belief systems that allow demagogues and tyrants to, to get us to kill each other. That's where, and that's, that's, why that's this what you scare people. That's what you're talking about. Yes. Um, and, and I don't know where that line is. And I, I have a generally libertarian attitude about, right. about knowledge and what people believe and that, that this stuff can work itself out over right. time. And, and I sort of believe that there's a, um, there's a getting at truth that we get to when, when people are sort of free to, to pursue the, the craziest theories that they want. Yes, and I'm okay with it. I mean, if you believe that, you, if you want to worship a head of lettuce and you believe that somehow gives you insight into the Holy of Holies, freaking go for it, right? I think it's when, what I find interesting is when people actually get angry about something that is in the possible and not in the probable. Yeah. Um, and I and I think, again, this is not a book where I say there's no Bigfoot. And I hope people, and I think when they read it, it's like, oh, shit, man, this guy, he's not saying there's no Bigfoot. He's just saying that why do belief systems need to get violent or why are these belief systems about charlatans or the grift, Yeah. right? And all of these things, I think, are what really encompass, you know, dangerous conspiracy theories. And Matt, I wish I knew where that line was sometimes, um, but I saw that line starting to get blurred when I was doing the research here, and I saw that line obviously blurred in the former Yugoslavia, and I saw that line blurred in the Middle East. Yeah. So that's it's, that's it's the a, issue. I mean, it's a nice metaphor because there's there's sort of uh, Bigfoot tourists who are, are really just having a good time. <laughs> there's those, um, yeah. And then there's true believers, and then there's grifters, and it, it seems like a good metaphor for politics, actually. There is. You know, you got true believers, you got grifters, and... You know, I talk about the EL in this book, which somebody said Randy, Mc, you know, what is it? Randy McBride should play the expedition leader in this book. But, uh, you know, what I'm looking at is that I paid to do this. I think my wife and I paid $2,000 a piece to go on this Bigfoot expedition in a public park where we had some reservists. He said he was a military reservist using a four foot stick to say, this is how you tell the gate of a Bigfoot from foot foot to foot footprint. I, what? You know, I, so we just had some weird things happening there. Um, but again, I think it. Um, I think it comes down to. I just don't know. Just w when you're talking to the Bigfoot individuals, and I, and I know I'm having a segue here. When you're talking to these individuals, and if you prove something without a shadow that, like you're just like this can't happen because of this, um, they automatically get angry. Yeah. And I saw that a real anger. I mean, we're talking about Bigfoot, right? You know, I had one individual tell me, "You got to have faith." You know, no, I don't. Like, no, actually. You're talking about an eight foot tall being that smells like that can actually. By the way, I don't know if you know this. Bigfoot can also emit a very specific odor to drive you away, sort of like a skunk, like the world's biggest skunk. You believe that's happening, and he throws rocks at you, and he tears off the heads of squirrels and puts them in, 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 in on your porch to tell you he loves you. And so I'm just supposed to take that as faith? No. Tell me why Bigfoot rips the heads off of squirrels. I really want to know, right? Well, we don't know. It's just we think it's a, a sign of love. Yeah. I said, oh, so sort of like your cat dragging in a, a mouse. Is yeah. that? And they're like, yeah, well, exactly. And I'm, what do you mean exactly? You know? So, I mean, I think, again, I think when I'm talking about these belief systems, I want people to laugh their ass off. Sure. But but there's there's a time when myth is weaponized and myth is and, and myth becomes dangerous. And, and I've seen it. And I but I've seen it for real. And I, I, I wrote a funny book that by the end, you're like, maybe maybe I should be scared a little more.